Our today's topic is algebraic identities. Left hand side represents vectors, and on the right hand side, this is the expanded form. And these equations are known as identities. Now let's discuss these identities one by one. First identity is a plus b whole square, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now let's see how can we use this to expand. Let for instance, if we have x plus 7 whole square. In this case, x is a. So we take x square and again to a b and this equals to 7 square. Finally, we have x square 14x plus 49. This is how we expand with the help of identity. Now let's discuss the second identity, a minus b whole square, with the help of another example. Let's say 6x minus 7y. If a is 6x and b is 7y. The method is the same. The only difference is now we have 2ab with a negative. Because in the identity we have a minus b whole square. Now we are going to substitute the values as usual. But finally we have 36x square and the 49y square. x square plus 6x plus 9. The first thing is the this quadratic expression should be in descending powers, square thing, then power 1, then constant. We first of all just inspect what is the square of this. This is the square of x. And this is the square of 9. That means we have the possibility of applying the identity. So now we are going to write 2 times of A and B. We are assuming that this is A and this is B. So let's substitute this A and B over here. Now we have to observe carefully whether the multiplication of these two is 6x, the middle thing, which is given in the question. If it is so, then this means this is a square, this is b square, and this is 2ab. It means we are going to transform right hand side to left hand side. So it would become x plus 3 whole square. Now let's see whether we can solve this, we can factorize it with the help of identity or not. This is x square, this is y square. Now we have to see whether it's 2 times of a and b. This is a and b, 2 times of a times b. Is it 84? So let's multiply this. 7, 6 of 42 times 2 is 84. Yes, it is. It means we can write it as a minus b whole square. So again, we have done the factorization with the help of identity. Now here, this is not a square of anything. And 147 is also not a square of anything. So let's see whether we can take common something from here. Yes, we can take 3 common. So it is x square minus 49. Now, here we go. Here it is x square and the other thing is 7s square. Again, it is a square minus b square format. So again, we will write x plus 7 and x minus 7. Again, we have done it. We have factorized it with the help of identity. This time it is the third one. But you have to take one thing in mind, that is, for example, if you have a square minus b square, let's say 4 square, we can write it as a plus b, a minus b, we know that for sure, but if it is a square plus b square, now this If it is a square plus 4 square, this is not equal to a plus 4 and a minus 4. Because we don't have identity for a square plus b square, we have it for a square minus b square. We have to keep in mind, this is a very common error.